Scott Young Public School in Canada has lost an amazing fourth grader by the name of Colton Windrum. We're going to get into all the sad news, the details about what happened here to this amazing kid in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. Colton Windrum, nine-year-old boy, died suddenly on December 17th. This was after a trip to the hospital on December 16th, came out of nowhere. Doctors determining that Colton had passed away from a sudden blood clot to his brain. Now, they're not saying what could have potentially caused the blood clot here, but you know, if you look over the past several months that I've been reporting on these stories, people dying suddenly, yes, even young children, unfortunately, here, just like Colton, uh, others who are engaged in, you know, physical activity at the time, there's been a theme to it all. And, you know, I think we know what that is. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, but I'm just saying that it's a possibility. Let's talk a little bit about Colton here. He was somebody who was beloved by not just his classmates, his friends, his school, but also his family. This is a kid that loved farming, lived on the farm. He could tell you, you know, anything about tractors and the farming life, all of that. Has a younger sister as well who looked up to him, looked up to her big brother. And now Colton is no longer here. Uh, one thing that the community is doing that I thought was really interesting and really cool, because Colton loved tractors so much. His community where he lives is actually going to be placing toy tractors outside on their mailboxes uh, for quite some time uh, in, uh, you know, just loving memory of Colton, which I think is a really cool thing to do. And also, one of the local stores there, for anybody who purchases one of these uh, toy tractors, all the proceeds are going to go directly uh, to the Windrum family. So that is pretty amazing as well, you know. Um, I never seen no community come, you know, you know, you know, come together like this for someone. I, I think it's really amazing to see the level of support and just, you know, how close everybody truly is there. Uh, Colton is definitely going to be missed, and I'm going to put some more information here for you guys in the description uh, for anybody that would like to help out the Windrum family. Uh, they have uh, other fundraiser campaigns that are going on for them as well uh, during this very difficult time. You know, one thing I want to do as well, though, before I officially wrap up, you know, maybe you are tuning into this channel for the first time. I offer people hope, and I, and I want you to, to understand this. When it comes to Colton, this is somebody who is no longer suffering, okay? he's He may be gone from this world, but he is not gone altogether. He is in heaven right now with Jesus Christ. And, you know, it's terrible when you hear something like this, especially right before the holidays for a family to have to lose a child, especially a nine-year-old boy. But you know what? Colton is celebrating Christmas with Jesus this year, which is amazing. It doesn't make it any easier for his family, of course. But you can have the assurance of knowing that there are reunions in heaven, which leads me to this, the hope of accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Colton, see, he's up there. He's waiting for the rest of his family, and they'll be reunited again. But you know what? If you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'd like to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. It's a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring up for the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to turn from your sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. Again, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Our prayer is going out to the entire Windrum family that God would just be with you all 
and comfort you at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.